Okay, so um, now we're going to take a look at the middle term. So uh, I guess the first thing we should ask ourselves is which, what number is the middle term? So what do you think? What number is the middle term? One in the middle. It is the one in the middle, yes. <laughs> four, three. Four. Why did you four, think it was four? Seven terms, one, three, four. That's exactly right. So if this is six, that means there's going to be seven terms here. So with seven terms, that means I have three, three with one in the middle. So the middle term is T4. So what will be the um, value for K? <coughs> Yeah, and the value for n? 6. There, now we have enough information that we can actually find the middle term. It's going to be 6 choose 3, 3a cubed, and 2b cubed. So 6 choose 3 times 27 times 8. So this will be 4,300, oops, that's not a 3, 4,320 A cubed, B cubed. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some questions that use clues. So for example, the sixth term in the expansion of this thing here, it tells us what the sixth term is. It wants us to find the value of N. So how can we do that uh, with the least amount of math as possible here, other than looking at your neighbor's paper? There goes my answer. <laughs> um, it's the fifth term. How did or you know it was the fifth term? No, it's the fourth term. Fourth term? Ninth. No, aren't you looking for the value of that? Uh, we're looking for, yeah, what, what is this value here if the oh, sixth term is? Oh, I was looking at the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the only thing we have to go on is this one formula we've been using. So let's take a look and see if there's anything here that can help us uh, find it. Um, yeah, what did you do? Who did it? What did you do? Andrew, must be theater. Andrew, stop, like, gosh, stop saying the C word. <laughs> well, that would be calculus. <laughs> Just I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think they're here for use, I guess. Uh-oh. So that's the formula that we can, can use. Now, hmm, does anybody see something clever that we might be able to do here? Put in the 5 for the k. Okay, that's good. So k equals 5 in this question. So then we can put in 5. That means um, a, and would have to be 8 because it's k. Exactly, yeah. So what we're really concerned about is this part of it. I can match up the x, right? That's the easiest part of the formula to match up. We already know that k equals 5. So that means n must equal 8. OK, so what about the second one, which says uh, find the term that contains x to the 4. So the same question. What term is it that has x to the 4 in it? The, the fourth one. Yeah, people are doing that finger counting. Fifth? Or the, wait, hold on, never mind. Um, I, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Yeah, it is the sixth. But let me show you how we can get it as well. If we look back at the term formula up here that we've written, we'd written down, okay. all I'm thinking about is I know what the value of n is. It's 9. So that means x to the 9 minus k equals x to the 4. Okay. So k equals 5. So this is term 6. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. If you counted it on your fingers, too, it would also be the sixth term. So now that I've got enough information, it's going to be 9, choose 5, x to the fourth, negative 2y to the fifth. And let's see here. 9, choose 5. So I get... Uh, negative 4, 0, 3, 2, x4, y5. Okay. Sometimes instead of finding the whole thing, all we want is the coefficient. So let's talk about how we could come up with this. 
given 1 minus 3x to the 7th, find the coefficient of the term which contains x to the 4th. So again, which term uh, are we looking for? The one containing x to the 4th. The one containing x to the 4th? So which term number is that? From the um, 7, 6, 5, 4. Well, if you look at where these are placed in the formula, it's actually the second part that I'd be interested in. I'd be interested in the value for b. So in the term formula, in this instance, it's going to be uh, n choose k Um, I'm trying to figure out where this turns into x to the 4. So basically, the only place that can happen is if k equals to 4. So it means it's going to be term number 5. So 7 is the total. Choose 4, and I'm working with 1 cubed and negative 3x to the 4th. Let's see what we get here. So I get uh, 2835 times x to the fourth. Okay, so I'll let you try this next one on your own, and then we'll see uh, what we come up with. So anybody figure out the term that we're looking for? Yeah, we're going to be looking at um, x to the 9 minus k has to be x to the 5. So k must equal to 4. I'm looking for term number 5 here. So that means term number 5 is going to be 9 choose 4 times, oops, that should be 5x to the 4th, sorry, 5th. Yeah. And uh, negative 2y to the fourth. Okay, so I get 6, um, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, um, x to the fifth, y to the fourth. Okay. So the last thing we're going to take a look at is how you find the constant term. Um, and this has been uh, an exam type question that we're looking at. So to get you through the first one, uh, I'm going to show you how we need to do this. The first is a key idea here. So if you're looking for the constant term, what are you really looking for? It's the last one. It's not always the last one. In this instance, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. What's the hint that you know you have the constant and not a variable? X is in there. What about x not being there? Be more specific. X has the power of zero. X has the power of zero. So if I was to take a look at this term formula, it would be n choose k x squared, and it's going to be, sorry, I can make that a 6. I don't need to make that an n. So it'll be 6 minus k and 1 over x to the k. Now, what I want to have happen is I don't really care about this here. I just want this to be an x to the 0 so that I know I have a constant. So I have to solve a little exponential equation here. So this is going to become x to the 12 minus 2k. And when I do the uh, exponent laws on this, it's going to be x to the negative k. So what I end up with is x to the 12 minus 3k equals x to the 0. So that tells me that k must equal 4. And I'm looking for term number 5 in this example. Okay, so for term number 5, it's going to be equal to, um, let's see here, 6 choose 4. And it's going to be x squared to the uh, 2 and 1 over x to the 4. And one way you can double check it is if x squared is squared, that's x to the 4 on top, x to the 4 on the bottom, they'll divide each other out. Okay, so I get a constant term of 15.